I was really struggling for cash. I just lost my job and uh, I started to sign on. I was around my friend's house one day and Arnie was there and he said to me, oh, are you ready for a loan yet? And yeah, I, I was feeling that low about losing my job and I wanted to cheer myself up, so I said, yeah. He was known to everybody in the area as being the person to get the cars from. He was a friend of the family as well. Um, my wife went to school with him. Um, so obviously being a friend, that's the best people to go to, you'd think. So Brian being in a hole, signed this paper for £300. Straight away took it to £570 for him. It also states on the contract that it's £10 fine every day that you're late, the late payment. And then um, the payments got more and more. Uh, at one stage I gave him my mortgage money, which was £350 at the time. It just spiralled out of control. Obviously I was using money to pay him instead of buying food and, thing, and gas, electric paying the rent, I then had to lend more money off him to cover them. He was controlling my life, he was telling me when I could have, couldn't have my money, when he wanted money off me, more or less just bullying me all the time. His favourite saying was, pay me, don't feed your children. I said, I need to know when I'm getting an effing payment. And with that, he grabs hold of me by the throat, he said, if I don't start getting paid, he said, then I'm coming back. So I said, but I am paying you, he said, can you let go of me? I said, you're scaring me. He had another big guy with him. And this big guy got hold of my hand and took my, my wedding ring and engagement ring on my finger. That is payment for today. I'll be back on Wednesday for some cash. I was always stressed. Um, I was working all the hours God sent, doing two jobs, sleep for what, two, three hours a day. I mean, I had a heart attack because of all the stress, I couldn't pay him. Um, we lost the house. I lost two jobs at the same time. Tried to commit suicide. He'd sit outside the house and wait for me. When I turned up, he turned around and said, um, if you don't pay me, I'm going after your wife and after your kids. And that was the final straw. I'll never forget the day. It was December the 3rd. And I went up the stairs and just see my son. And he was in. Um, I got to the top of the landing. And there's my son hanging from a belt from um, the attic in my bathroom. Just, oh, just, oh, God. This, uh, I've just learned the hard way, is actually what goes on. And it's, it needs to be stopped. I'm really glad I reported the loan shark. Like I said, I should have done it 15 years ago. Once, once I contact the loan shark team, um, they just give me all of the confidence and, just, and you can actually start to get your life back on track. They just stuck by you 100% and everything they promised, just they delivered. It was just a weight lifted. Absolute weight lifted. I've not got that pressure now of having to pay him and wondering when he's going to turn up, if my goods are going to be taken uh, and any other aspects of his way of getting his money. The day that he, was, he got arrested was a big relief because I knew from that moment onwards I wouldn't have to pay him nothing and all that stress was going to go. Well, I work, like I said, I work, do 16 hours a week in next. My house is perfect, I've got everything, my kids are stable in school, I've got an happy life, I've got my licence, getting a car, I'm going to buy my house. And they can't do nothing to me because I've got confidence now, so I'm all right.